Hi everyone, my name's David Hampton. I'm the curator here at the Workshops Rail Museum. And I'm going to be taking you through some of my favourite objects and my favourite stories from out here at the workshops. And this is one of them. I'm standing in the cab of locomotive 327 from Hunslet in the UK. Like most locomotives, Hunslet 327 can tell lots of different stories and it's led lots of different lives. But one of the most interesting parts of its history is that it was built for the Railway Operating Division and served in the First World War. So on the Western Front during the First World War, all the equipment, men, munitions, travelled to the front line by train. Hunslet 327 was built in Leeds in the UK in 1916 and ended up on the fronts in 1917. Served through to the end of the war, shifting men and munitions and equipment to and from the front lines and then went back to the UK. There, it was rebuilt a little bit, had some modifications done to it and then the Queensland Government bought it along with a number of its other sister locomotives. It came out to Queensland and it worked hauling sugarcane. Did that for many, many, many years, was modified in lots of different ways, and then it was retired and put in a park. We decided that we would return it as best as we could to its original wartime condition. So we started a project that took over 12 years to restore it to this original condition you see today. And of course, we're quite lucky in that we have right next door people who come to work every day to work on steam locomotives. Great group of talented people worked on producing this restoration, getting it into the condition you see now. Hunslet 327 went through a number of different modifications to improve its functionality in a sugarcane environment. Uh, when we decided to restore it back to its original wartime condition, that meant removing a lot of those modifications. So we did all sorts of things. We cut down the smoke box, which had been extended quite significantly. We had to completely re-manufacture uh, the tanks that the water is stored in. The cab also had to be changed. It had been cut away quite significantly to improve visibility for the crews. We also cast uh, replicas of the number plates and also the builder's plates. All of the different bits and bobs that we took off the locomotive, we've retained. So if somewhere down the line we want to return this locomotive to its Queensland sugar condition, we can actually do. But for the meantime, I think it looks pretty good in wartime configuration.